Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Um, so I've been wanting to make this video for a little while about weight loss um, that I'm having by not dieting at all, really. Um, now I've tried so many diet clubs and plans and nothing's worked for me and I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, but I've not been able to make this video because I started the situation and I hadn't lost enough weight to feel like I could reasonably make the video. Then I came down with a really bad sinus infection and my nose was just full of viscous sputum and snot and it was all in my throat. And so I was breathing through a very thick medium of, you know, fluid and I just couldn't breathe and I became quite unwell. So end up in the hospital and then it took a further 10 days for me to recover from that and I had bruises everywhere I shall insert a picture somewhere if I remember of the bruises um so it was great and then I only started to feel better in the middle of last week we then got a heat wave which makes me really breathless so I didn't feel like I was able to speak um sometimes even talking now like people find this quite breathy and annoying so at that point that was just not going to be an option and then i was going to make this video on uh tuesday but my cat was really unwell i went to the vet came home from the vet and then she went into a acute decompensation crisis um and she's got hypertrophic cardiomyopathy which is incurable so it is now a terminal illness um some cats can live for six months 12 months my ginger cat lived for 10 years from his diagnosis he just had a slight murmur when he went in um for for his neutering so we were always able to keep him in constant checkups my um he lived for 10 years so uh my cat now has um Initially, I didn't think she was going to make it. When I took her to the vet, they said that, you know, she is really unwell and she's probably not going to survive the, the, the night. The next three hours are going to be critical. If it comes to the point where she is about to die, we will call you so you can come and sit with her. Uh, so that was quite upsetting. Um, and then I've not really slept for a few days. I brought her home um, on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, she was better. She had lots of blood thinners, ferrosamide, all that good stuff. And now she's sassy as hell and like eating. And she's like, give me the dreamies, woman. I've not eaten for three days. Where's the dreamies sort of sass? Which is great. And she's got no wee. She's got no blood in her wee, which was the symptom I initially took her to the vet for. Bought her home being told it's just a UTI. Then she was suffocating. Um, and definitely wasn't a UTI at all. Um, it was a liver problem, uh, secondary to cardiomyopathy. It is genetic, so there's nothing you can do. If your cat has the dominant gene, your cat could get it. And it's very common in lots of breeds, uh, especially Maine Coons, um, Ragdolls and short hair, domesticated, domesticated short hair cats, which is what my cat is. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, so I've not had time really to make this video but I'm smiling today because she's much better and I thought I'll make this video while she's in the bedroom she's nice and stable and she's happily purring away trying to go to sleep so I thought I'd leave her to have some peace and come and annoy you instead so if you like some of this video please like the video and subscribe if you want to and let's just talk weight loss so I've tried many weight loss clubs and none of them have worked for me but I am someone who's on long-term steroid juice, which increases your cortisol levels, which is a hormone, um, the hormone your pituitary gland releases, um, and it triggers your adrenal glands to release cortisol. So, you know, there's a two thing going on to make the cortisol released. This makes you constantly hungry. Um, I mean, I could eat, you know, a full on, or you can eat buffet, and half an hour later, my brain is telling me, you're starving, hungry, you've not eaten for weeks. Um, this is not true. But then you start to feel sick, so then you have to eat. And it was a constant problem. Also, my steroids make me feel quite sick. I do have some dysphagia, so it's been a difficult situation. However, I've now lost 
a stone in weight. Um, so I started on the 23rd of June, just going through my cupboards, having a little look at what I've got and not really making huge changes, but thinking about, you know, I've got a nutritionist appointment coming up. I've got in touch with a nutritionist. Um, I'm so grateful to have that on board. Um, sort of thinking about what do we have in 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 stock here what can i use up now so i don't have it later um so that even though i can have stuff i didn't want there to be lots of like chocolate bars and all of that stuff around so that was that on the 27th of june um i had lost four and a half pounds um and that was in the space of about four days of just putting more uh eating everything I want like there is nothing I don't eat but having more veg with it Um, and then there's other things that go into that that's not just veg based and I want to explain that to you but anyway what you want to do is get your plate cut your plate into a half so half of your plate is for the vegetables then what I do is I split the other side into three sections two thirds of that section is going to be protein and one third of that section is going to be your carbohydrate and that's it it's really not rocket science no way and no measuring you know if you want to have oil you can have oil just know how much saturated fats are in the oil again i've got a worksheet on that somewhere um i don't use a lot of oil anyway i use a lot of water in with the oil so if i use oil i'll put the oil in and i'll put a bit of water in and it just helps keep food moist and stuff um but the main thing that i do is if i'm cooking things like chicken and meat I now grill it rather than pan fry it. Now, I've never put oil in my pans ever, but I now put it on the grill and I grill it or put it in the oven and, you know, on a roasting tray with an actual rack and let it grill so that, you know, it's not needing extra stuff to keep it moist. You could even put a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan and you could steam your chicken while it's cooking. Really good. So I've done that. I've now lost a stone. Um, and I've lost a stone in, I mean, really realistically, I could cut off one, two and three weeks because for three weeks, you know, I was ill. Um, and then I've not done my cat very much. So I'm going to take two weeks off. So I've lost a stone in eight weeks. Um, and I just want to tell you what I've been doing, show you some of the meals, um, because it's been really reassuring. Also, in this time, I have lost 10 centimetres. Let's have a look here. 10 centimetres. 10 centimetres is that off of my waist. And I have lost 7 centimetres off my hips which is that I've also lost on my thighs two centimeters on each uh on one thigh so on each thigh if I took each thigh my thighs combined are this much shorter and so yeah my BMI's come down by two as well which is really good so I thought I'd talk you through what I've been doing so I've got the bits and bobs so some of the main things that I've been doing, I'm going to show you some food, but one of the things I really struggled with a lot was, the lighting's gone funny because I've got all these things here now, um, one of the things I really struggled with was breakfast, I'm not a breakfast person, so I, I don't have the energy in the morning to be stood there making porridge or making bacon and eggs or whatever, so one of the things I didn't realise coming into this journey was fruit, strawberries, berries, apples, bananas, they are carbohydrates. 
And so when people go on a low carb diet, they don't realize that fruits are a carbohydrate. Also, generally in life, they don't realize that fruit is a carbohydrate. Remember I said one third of your plate should be carbohydrate. So for breakfast, what I've been doing is having a handful of berries, normally strawberries and blueberries together, chucked in a bowl that's obviously been washed before I put them in Tupperware in the fridge anyway. And then I get a 0% fat Greek yogurt. Um, I like the Phi A one or the Brooklyn one from Aldi, which is half the price of the Phi A one. It tastes just the same. And I get two like cereal bowl spoons, fools, and shove it in a bowl. Now that's normally around 100 grams, 120 grams. You can have up to 200 grams of, of protein. That's your protein. Mix it together. You've got one of your five a day. You've got fiber from the fruits. You've got protein from your yogurt. That's a balanced meal. Um, and that's really changed my mindset. Today, I did the same thing, but I had all of the same ingredients, but in a smoothie, a little bit of peanut butter, a sprinkle of sunflower seeds, some water, some spinach. It was good. It probably needed a banana. What I've also been doing is I struggle a lot to eat lunch. So I bought some of these little tubs as you can see they've got three compartments and i'll insert a picture of what my food looks like but basically like depends what you're taking really it'll either be your peanut butter or something like that, or your baby bell. In here, I'll put my dips, so my hummus, my yogurt, my peanut butter as well, um, whatever you use as a dip. And then this, I lay out with crackers and fruit and carrot sticks and dippy things, and it's just a nice thing to take on the go. Just picky bits. I like picky bits at lunch, but it's all balanced. Um, some of my favourite things to use are these. These are sweet peppers from Lidl. If I rip off the top of this one, you will see there are no seeds. So you can literally put these in your bento boxes. Like, stick inside there some, like, nut butter or some dates or something like that. Um, some peanut butter and just have that to munch on at lunchtime. You've got your fibre, you've got some veg, which is going to fill you up it's also going to help you go to the toilet help with ibs i sell from ibs um but also you've got your peanut butter so that's a bit of protein as well and you can just dip it in yogurt as well you can just stick it in there and dip it in your yogurt or whatever you don't have to put it in the middle but sometimes i just like gooey messy stuff you know i like picky bits so that's that um they are seedless ones you can get them that aren't seedless but it ruins the experience in my opinion um i've got this little thing i've got three of these um literally when i say it is five and a half centimeters high and 3.7 across size things these were 50p at flying tiger uh you put a cork in and then you just put your nuts so you could carry one of these in your handbag so if you get hungry you could just grab Something that's high protein. Also got lots of other things, some fibre. Stick that in your bag. Maybe an apple. Have a good meal. Um, so if you go to McDonald's on the way home. Big bane of my life, that. Um, my favourite thing to put in cracker-wise into my little bento boxes are these. I get these from Tesco. They're called the Finest Beetroot and Seed Crackers. Now these are a little bit high. But I only put two or three in, so it's not like I'm having loads. And, you know, it's 3% of my fat and it's only just red. And there are really no crackers that don't have a red thing on them. But obviously you want something like crackery to sort of put your peanut butter on, to spread it on, that sort of thing. And there's a lot less sort of um, faff with these if you've got three or four of these in there. You know, it's a lot less um, saturated fats and sugar and all of that than a chocolate bar, which is what I'd have otherwise. Then I picked up these from Waitrose. These are Waitrose rosemary and sourdough crackers. 
and they just look like that. We don't have ruskets or things that, look, there's loads of noise crackers that Americans use that I've seen online, and we just don't sell them here. So we're having to make do with the non pretty looking ones. Again, it's got a red for salt, but it's only 2%, so it's not like major. Um, and it's better than a mildew sandwich. I also picked these ones up from Waitrose. These ones are a little nicer to look at. Um, and really nice as well. They don't have a traffic light symbol on the back. So I've written it on the back. <laughs> the fats are red. The saturates are an amber. The carbohydrates are, an, are a green. And the protein is 15.9 on there for 100 grams. And salt is a red. So, you know saturated fats and carbs are amber and green so i'm happy with that um i've got these from white choice as well these are the pe yards um sourdough crackers and these are really pretty to look at um they taste nice as well like they don't taste nice on their own you've got to dip them in something but i've been using these again fat is amber saturates is green sugars is green salt is red like there's one red and then these are quite nice as well um fat is an a saturates is an a sugars is an a salt is an is a red let me take off some of my tape oh come in you little shit what they look like so yeah I've been using those as well and I feel like those crackers along with uh, the cheese um, the peanut butter dip the yogurt dip the bento boxes the seeds or nuts have really helped me find something that I like for lunch. So it's that. And then we're going to go out to dinner. So with dinners, you know, I am enjoying things like um, stews, uh, soups, steak. I had a steak and chips. You know, I've had a couple of McDonald's in this time as well. And I had a sprinkles and a Toby Carver and I've still lost a stone. It's about the 80-20 situation. 80% of the time you're eating well-balanced meals and 20% of the time you might not be perfect. It's fine. Also, bought one of these. This is a water bottle, 750 mils, and is wonderful. Keeps you hydrated. Really good. Um, I know if I drink two of those a day, I'm nearing my two litres a day, sort of there about 1500 so i'll drink two of those a day and then i'm having sort of you know water in my smoothies and um i'm having a couple of cups of tea which classify as liquid i'm doing good um and then i want to talk about measuring and weighing now i've tried slimming world it did not work for me the reason it didn't work for me was because all you can eat pasta and rice is not going to work for me because I'm just going to eat pasta and rice all the time. Also, I found it quite stressful because I was there for nine months. Um, and during this time, they changed their book twice. Um, so Muller Lights then went from being a free food to then having to sin it. And then it went from having this many healthy extras and this many healthy extra, uh, healthy extra Bs and As to completely mix around sometimes i don't want to have two healthy extra a's you know and whatever it's about what you want now i don't weigh or measure anything you know with my breakfast cereal in the morning normally special k if i have any i get my hand put a handful in a bowl job done have a bit of milk um with that uh my portion sizes are based on my plate i've moved my bowl from a big bowl to a bowl about you know from this size to about this size 
um, and I fill more of it with veg. No way in a measuring required. You just eyeball it. Um, your hand is, you know, made for you. So this is your measurement based on you, not based on anyone else. Um, there's no going on an app and typing in like Brooklyn zero percent Greek yogurt to find out whether I can have it as an alpha extra A or B or uh, if it's sinned or if it's a free food if it classifies as pro. I just have no time for that. And then you know if I want to have a chocolate bar in a day, or you know whatever I don't want to say well. I've had my fifteen sins today. Like, you know, if I've had yogurt with my breakfast, is that sinned? I don't know because I'm not in the same world anymore. But I used to always have to check before I could have something to eat. And when you're always having to check that you can have something before you have something, it just makes the process of eating unsatisfactory. Like you don't feel good. You're constantly checking an app or constantly checking for advice or constantly looking to see if you can have it this way you can have all of your food everything that you like in moderation you know if you fancy chocolate bar on a wednesday i quite like the other day this was about two weeks ago a spanish stack at mcdonald's with the fries, with halloumi sticks, and a McFlurry, and a millionaire donut, like a donut with like caramel in it. And I still lost weight because the rest of the time I was eating normal, um, balanced meals. So you could have the treat. On Slim World, I felt like it was really difficult, and actually, on Skin Slim World, I gained a stone. Because I just wasn't eating properly. I was like, oh, well, I have all this pasta. I can have all this mint. And I can have all these tomatoes. And I'm going to lose weight. It doesn't work like that. You're eating too much. Um, and then once you have lost your weight, you know, you're at the mercy of these companies going forward. You have to stay there. You have to keep checking this book. You've never got food freedom. And for me, this is working because I've got food freedom. I don't have to feel guilty. I don't have to check in. I don't have to sit there and someone say to me, oh, you've not had a very good week this week, have you? No, I haven't. I've got a period now. I feel like, shit, go away. You know? Um, it's just not conducive to what I I I want um, out of my life. And so this, I don't have to think about it. Literally, I don't have to think about it. Like, I try to make good choices. So, you know, brown rice, brown pasta, brown bread. I've managed to go for brown pasta, brown bread. I'm sorry, but I'm still on the white rice. That's just what I like. Um, You know, still have a jacket potato. Just make sure it's smaller. And you've got loads of edge. It's just about those things. And I'm going to show you some of my meals. I'll put in some pictures um either at the beginning of the video or somewhere in it um so you can see what they're like but you know i'm not starving i'm not eating rabbit food i'm not starving i'm eating good decent fulfilling food and i never feel hungry and that's a huge thing for me for someone that's on steroids to never feel hungry so yeah that's it so i've lost a stone i'll update you with further weight losses um and going forward when i have time um and I hope this was useful. So I've just spent the last half an hour organising my fridge to stop hunger from striking. Um, literally, I've organised everything. So we'll start with the bottom and go up. Spinach, cucumber. Here I've got leftovers from for lunch. It's just um, a curry sauce. I've got rice in the fridge. You just put in the microwave with a nice cube for two minutes. If it's steaming, it's not going to give you salmonella. These are sometimes but they're there forever i've got lime for lime juice for salad dressings i've got some ham i've got a cooked chicken breast which i'm going to feed to the cats later chicken there. up here we've got uh veggies and stuff here we've got some random cucumbers i've got baby bells in this container 
in this container here I've got loads of carrots to dunk, dunk in for a snack a mango cucumber celery all lay in a bed of kitchen towel to absorb moisture this is for when people come around and have a sandwich i have maybe five spoons a year not even that like teaspoons a year so yeah i'm not really massive in um spread person vanilla outro for the coffees red pepper hummus two of these are the same as the fire ones but they're £1.59 at aldi um Fire ones are three quid. They're exactly the same. So I've got two of them because the date is to the fourth of September, so there's a few weeks. And because I'm quite a lazy person, just chuck um a couple of dessert spoons of yogurt into a bowl, chuck in some berries, Bob's your uncle. Here we've got some chopped peppers. Like I said, just some chopped peppers, dunking um hummus, dunking yogurt. Um and also you can cook with it as well just chop it into smaller pieces so that's all there and done then up here i'll take these two out oh, show two i've got some washed blueberries in kitchen towel that's two small punnets there and a normal size this size punnet of strawberries and everything's just in the oh, fridge i did my shed and here is my overstock so i've got lots of cold water i've got tomatoes spinach spinach more hummus, bag of carrot some onions some spring onions cabbage peppers two broccoli here. And that's it. That's my overstock. Got a glorious thing that is the freezer. So in here, that can come out. I've got a bag of frozen vegetables. Lots of chickpea mills there. Um, and then some chicken. <coughs> Gonna need to defrost this actually. There we go. We've got a couple of mills in here as well. That's soup. And we've got lots of other cheese bits just in case of fancy McDonald's instead of having these. Frozen mints. But I'm not squash, I've got two bags of that. I've got some fish at the back for me and the cats. And a soup. And here I've got all my meat. So mints, mints, chicken, bacon chicken and an ice pack out here I shall see you later. Bye.